me tease you about the oxygen sensor switching the wires so I thought uh, I'll show you how it is, easy it is here's the old oxygen sensor uh, you most likely will not have it in this convenient location but uh, I do okay and this is the new oxygen sensor that I'm gonna be using and it's as simple as removing this connector and putting this connector on. Um, you could do it a few different ways, but there's always difficulties, so that's why I try to keep it as simple as possible. Now, if you want to keep reusing the cables and stuff like that, you want to save as much of the old cable as possible so that you have a good connector. So you might be asking, why would you do something like that? <clears throat> well, it's very simple. This action sensor that's for the car is roughly it's like $40, $50 almost. Um, I don't know why or how, but it's just very pricey. This action sensor, on the other hand, is $10. I think I bought this for. It's some non brand, I have no idea what it is, but it's very cheap. Um, and here's a little caveat. In most cases, the sensors are basically identical. There's very little differences between them. So, the only real cost difference or the reason why they're different is just the connector and legs of the wire. So, you could actually buy an universal auction sensor. They still like $34. Something like that. It depends on market conditions and such. Um, but pretty much any four wire action sensor will work with any other four wire action sensor. Um, there was differences back in the day, but it's more or less nullified itself at this point in time. Uh, you can use four wire sensors just like this for the three wire if you want to. You can also use it for a one wire action sensor if you want to. Um, all four wires is basically two heaters, two heated cables to run the heater inside the element, then ground for the sensor and ground and the signal for the sensor, and that's pretty much it. Um, it's very very no difficult if you want to use it for single wire. You just take the a sensor signal out of this and just plug it into the output, and that's it. Uh, so. This is getting quite long, so let me just show you how I switch them out. Now the key part is I want to keep as much of this sensor as possible. So I'm just going to cut it here. So this is actually the length of the wire I need. But if it's longer it's fine, if it's shorter it's, it's going to be a problem. Um, to make it simpler, I'm just going to take this thing out. This is all my wires, and you see it's blue, white, and two blacks. Likely, this wire as a sensor is also blue, white, and two blacks. The blacks can be wired in any way you want. Um, blue and white needs to be matched. Um, I think there's three or four different other uh, color combinations for the O2 sensors. It's best if they're matched, but it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll put it up here so you can see it in this section and uh, the difference is just pulled something from the internet all right so the next part I need to cut this guy now to connect the two wires together to make it simpler I'm going to use this kit I have because I don't want to whip out my starting iron so uh, it's, it's not gonna I'm not gonna focus I guess but it basically has a solder inside, it's a shrink wrap and silicone or something, a seal. So it makes it a nice watertight connection. So I just pick the appropriate size, which is probably going to be the red one or the white ones for this application. And that's it, that's the way I'm connecting it. So the next part you need to know is that if I leave them straight like this, 
then uh, it's gonna be just a bulky thingy. So the easiest way to do it is just cut it back by a certain amount of lengths. I'm just gonna go by one inch, which is the big square. So white, blue I'm gonna leave, white, cut back one inch, out of the way. One black is gonna be two inch. And one black, that's gonna be a problem a little bit. And one black, I'm gonna cut back three inch. Okay. So there you go. Now I have four wires of different lengths. So zero, minus one inch, minus two inch, minus three inch. Now, on the new sensor, gonna guess cut it maybe like here if it's longer it's fine you can zip tie it away it doesn't matter I'm gonna do the same thing but opposite blue wire I'm gonna cut back three inch okay and then white wire I'm gonna cut back two inch and one black wire, I'm gonna cut back one inch. So now, when you connect the wires, they're all gonna line up, but offset piece. Um, I like to use wire strippers, it makes the life easier. So this doesn't have a stop, but This is gonna be <laughs> this wire strip is not working on this. This is a very special kind of wire, like a brace of resistance. Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back to an age when the world felt small. Way back before we blew it all. Take me back to a place where I felt at home. Take all wires are stripped. Um, I could try to reuse this, but it's gonna be hard for now. Um. Okay. What I can do, make this same small enough. I can just fit this together. wires ends up to be like this so I'm gonna put something here as well should let leftovers go to break as well as application I just shove it in there Sharp. All right, now the fun part. All right, so there you go. I'm gonna leave more space here, more space here. I just noticed one of two of these cables are damaged. So I'm just gonna put two of this. So now we just a uh, quick assembly. So bear with me. All right, there you go. And where did my lighter go? Ah, there you go. And 
this one was damaged. Probably when the tips were cutting off the calyx water, they damaged this part too. Okay. Okay. So now the tedious part of connecting the four wires together. Okay. Let's start with the long one. Let's see which one works. Uh, oh, this one works. Let's try this. So this is the longest black. Just to the shortest black. Now, the way I like to do the wire splits, I probably should make a video about that, but do an X and then wrap itself over. I'm using the smallest one possible. So in this case, the white worked just fine. Now the reason I do this is because even without the center, it's still very strong. So now I just need to heat it up. It's a very low temperature solder. And then connection is made. The solder is melted look from the looks of it. And it's a good solid connection. It's very hot. Should touch that. Alright. So if you borrow like this, you borrow this guys. Ready to go back in. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what else to say about it. It's uh, it's as easy as that. Um, this wire is like abrasion resistant, so it's very hard to strip. So I just use the exact knife. Ah, got some blood going on, I think, or piece some belt stuck in the finger. Ah, okay, anyways, uh, it's done, this can go back in the car, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> whoa, excuse me, and uh, that concludes this video.